welcome to the Maintenance Community Member Spotlight Series. Every episode, we will connect with our very own community members and get a glimpse into their maintenance journey. I'm Joanne, one of the Maintenance Community Slack admins, and I'm very excited to chat with today's Member Spotlight guest, Bill Allison. Could you start us off by sharing a little bit more about you and your background? I'm honored to be speaking with you today and to have been chosen for a Member Spotlight guest. I'm from Gravenhurst, Ontario, Canada. When I completed high school in Gravenhurst, I went off to Brock University in St. Catharines, did a Bachelor of Sport Management, and um, after that, I refocused my my schooling career into turf grass and did a, t- a diploma at Seneca College in King City. I then spent 10 years in the turf grass industry and honed my skills that I learned and paved the way for where I am today kind of thing. I moved into equipment sales of turf grass maintenance. After that, I refocused onto heavy equipment industry, selling global construction equipment in central Ontario. And throughout that time, I got married. Uh, We bought a house back in my hometown and we had two children. In the fall of 2018, I experienced another refocus in my career, which would be construction and trades. And I had been involved in that since I was about eight years old. And it gave me the foundation for what my current role is. I took a job with Castle Peak Retirement in November of 2018 and have thoroughly enjoyed my time here as the position offers a variety of jobs and roles. Uh, I do everything from hanging pictures and fixing small personal items uh, for residents to large scale landscaping projects, small renovations, and then any and all major and minor preventative and reactive maintenance. I love how you are kind of back to where you started like early on in your life. What keeps you energized in your profession? Pretty easy question to answer, really. It's my kids and then my my wife and my family, really. Day to day, they provide me with what I need to do. They love hearing stories of the jobs that I do, seeing pictures, right down to what even what I've had for lunch because we get provided lunch here. And it's a, it's a great perk of the job. And our chef is top class and he provides a great lunch for all the staff. And I also enjoy just working around and being around people. Like I don't consider this necessarily a job. It's more of a lifestyle. My father taught me very young that hard work earns respect. And that's kind of the way I've lived my whole life up to this point. And I've also taken on the, the, the role here as if this is my grandfather or my grandmother's house. And that being that kind of gives me an energy too. I almost think of it as I'm taking care of 124 grandparents' homes all in one spot, which is sounds daunting, but um, manageable. I feel like for a lot of our community members, it it all comes back down to the people and who you work with and like how you get to interact with them. So I I absolutely love that. I can tell that you're passionate about that. How did you hear about the maintenance community and, you know, how has it helped you in your maintenance and reliability journey? First heard about the maintenance community shortly after becoming an upkeep customer. I had searched the internet. We got to the point where I was big enough and getting enough jobs on the go that I wanted to move away from paper, and get into something a little more digital that was easier and more well organized. The rest is history. It's helped me gain valuable information, pointed me in the right direction a bunch of times. It's allowed me to connect to different people in different areas. I don't know how many people on it are in retirement homes per se. It seems more manufacturing, production, that kind of a thing. I'm moving towards a more preventative maintenance program, and it's really helped me focus uh, on that direction. That's awesome. I'm so glad to hear that, that it's, you know, impactful for you. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received that you'd like to pass on to the community? I have a family of leaders by example. My dad and his brothers are very hard workers, but not necessarily gifted in, you know, philosophical language type of thing. We give, you know, examples verbally of advice. They just kind of, they do it in their actions. So one piece that has served me well over my whole career is that you will fail. And if you cannot handle the weight of that failure, you'll never really fully understand the beauty of your success. I mean, I think any, any major successful people, no matter what their careers are, will tell you, you know, you have to fail before you get to the top. Even a guy like Elon Musk, how many times he failed before he figured it out, right? I'm going to add two, be the stupid person in the room. And I mean that in the regards, if you're in a meeting, you're in a room with a bunch of people and the presenter is talking about a bunch of things that everybody seemingly understands, but you don't, or you don't understand a piece of it. 
be the person to ask the question. So you're not the stupid person. You're just the person that's willing to look maybe silly in front of the group because if there's 10 people in that room, I bet you seven people don't understand what the, the, the person's talking about. Especially being in the corporate sales world with companies like Volvo and Jacobson and all these big multinational global companies, to be in there with high level executives and ask those stupid questions, you gain their respect because they know that you're really focusing on what they're doing and wanting to, to get better at, at what you're doing. Fear of failure and fear of asking questions is something that most people need to learn to overcome because in the end, it really just facilitates your growth professionally, personally, mentally. So totally agree with you on that. Uh, well, that wraps up our first episode of the Maintenance Community Member Spotlight. Thank you to all of our listeners for taking the time to get to know Bill. You can find both of us in the Maintenance Community Slack group. If you want to be in the spotlight yourself, simply become an active member over in our community and submit your interests for a chance to be selected for a community member spotlight. Thank you. Thank you.